Heinrich Harrer, is an Austrian mountaineer, who was captured in the Himalayas in India on an expedition with some Germans, who were on a Nazi mission to hoist a swastika flag at the top of the Himalayas. Their capture, was due to the defeat of Germany in the Second World War, so that their mission which was part of expanding Nazi power was also thwarted by German enemies including those in India. The story begins when in 1939, Heinrich joined the life-threatening expedition, at first, he was a free climber with no ties to the Nazis. When he was about to leave, he was sent by his wife, Ingrid, who was pregnant with his child. He promised his wife that he would return immediately within four months after the expedition was over. The climb was started by Heinrich, and a Nazi worker named Peter Aufschneider and three others who were friends of Peter. They used the path that the climbers had traveled before them, this is a life-consuming road because rain and blizzards will trap and make anyone who goes through it fall. As Heinrich began to climb and was in the last position among the other climbers, he fell after the shoes he was wearing failed to grip the ice cube. Yet he kept stepping and reassuring them, that he was in good condition despite the fact that he was injured. The expedition then took them through a steep hill, Peter and his friend almost fell but were pulled and held firmly by the rope held by Heinrich, seeing the increasingly difficult situation, Peter as the leader of the expedition chose to stop for a while. Several tents were set up between the snow, and the cold weather and strong mountain winds. As they were resting the night, suddenly a blizzard and the icebergs above them began to fall and headed towards them. They immediately saved themselves, until they did not have time to save some of the equipment and supplies they were carrying. During the day, they had no choice but to continue the expedition even though many of their supplies failed to be salvaged. While on their way, they met a group of Tibetans who were traveling to a holy city in Tibet called, Lhasa. One of the Tibetans gave Heinrich a picture of a small child, who was the 14th Dalai Lama. According to them, the picture could be good luck for Heinrich, Peter and his friends in climbing the mountain to avoid disaster. Despite doubting the luck the Tibetans said, Heinrich still picked it up and kept it in his jacket pocket. The expedition resumed its journey and while on its way, they were suddenly arrested by the police who were patrolling in the mountainous areas of South Asia. They were police from countries that were enemies of Germany in the Second World War. They learned that the mission of Heinrich, and the people in the expedition was in the name of the Nazis. Heinrich, and the group were arrested, and taken to a prison in Ahmednagar, India. Heinrich regretted choosing to climb with them in the name of Nazi Germany. If he remains an independent climber, perhaps he will be able to continue the journey. In prison, Heinrich wrote his regrets in his diary. In his mind it was often guessed whether his child, who was likely to have been born was a boy, or a girl? What's her name? How is his wife's health? How does it look? Finally on Peter's advice, Heinrich wrote a letter to his wife Ingrid, saying that he was arrested in India and imprisoned. He also did not forget to ask his wife to greet his son and promise to go home and see them again. A few months later, Heinrich received a reply letter from Ingrid, and it was written that his son named Rolf Harr, had been born and was healthy. However, as Rolf begins to grow up and can think, Ingrid tells Rolf that his biological father has disappeared in the Himalayas, and Ingrid tells him he has married Heinrich's best friend Horst. After reading the letter, Heinrich was disappointed even more, when in the letter was attached an application to Heinrich to sign a divorce letter from Ingrid. The frustration made Heinrich even more determined to escape from prison, and set foot on the Himalayan peak. Every time he tried to escape from prison, he always met with failure. Until one day, Peter and this group of expeditions want to work with Heinrich to escape from prison. They disguise themselves as Indian laborers, change their appearance, dressed in Indian style, blackened their skin while Peter pretended to sew a prison officer who oversees their work. All of them, managed to escape through the forests and bushes of the Indian-Tibetan border. After that, Heinrich chose to separate from them because indeed at first he wanted to climb as a climber, because this was indeed his interest, not as part of the Nazi German mission. On Heinrich's journey to Tibet, many of the ways, he did to survive hunger included stealing food made by Indians in a house for rituals of worship. Until one day, when Heinrich had food poisoning, Peter suddenly came back and gave him medicine. Peter recounts that he followed Heinrich after some of his friends were caught in a district of Nepal while on their way to southern India. It was then that Peter chose to find Heinrich, and follow him until they finally met again on a hill border of Tibet and India. 
The two eventually became good friends. To get to the Himalayas, they both had to cross Tibet, because the Himalayas are the border of Tibet and India. As they began to enter Tibetan territory, they were chased away by two Tibetans guarding the border area. Heinrich and Peter explained in Tibetan language that was difficult for the two guards to understand, even in sign language that they only came in to ask for food even though the two guards refused. Eventually they chose to enter Tibet by another route, and on the same day, the 14th Dalai Lama would move to Lhasa, a city considered sacred by Tibetans. Finally, after explaining in body language to the group, they were accepted and managed to enter as foreigners in the city of Lhasa. In the city of Lhasa they were welcomed by a resident. Then the two were invited to lunch together and soon the residents told the Lhasa city leaders that their city had been entered by two foreigners. Heinrich and Peter were finally asked to face the city leaders and they explained that their arrival was only to stop to rest and ask for food from the locals. They finally survived the punishment. Heinrich then remembered that in his jacket pocket was still a picture of the Dalai Lama, which was later as a sign of respect for the Lhasa city leadership to the Dalai Lama, they are then treated as guests of honor. In their daily lives there, they help the locals a lot and introduce the function of an unknown tool, such as sharp ice skating shoes used to glide on the ice and Heinrich also taught residents how to play ice skating using the shoes. Heinrich's familiarity with the locals and his vast knowledge had attracted the attention of the Dalai Lama to ask to teach him about various things he did not yet know. Peter is married to a Tibetan woman who is the only tailor in the country. Heinrich never forgot his son. He often sent letters and one of his letters he wrote. Rolf my son, I am a man you do not know and indeed you have never known. While many people say that I have been lost in the mountains of the Himalayas, in fact I am still living in a mountain of snow and icebergs shrouded in a roaring wind. A life full of obstacles to conquer, yet for some people this is just a nightmare that will only show up in the worst night, but not for me. If only I could describe how you are my child, I am sure you are an intelligent child with such a high level of curiosity, a boy who dares to learn from his mistakes and is able to survive in any difficult situation. I still love you, want to see you my son, with love. Your father Heinrich Harrer. One time Heinrich received a reply letter from his son Rolf, saying that he was not his father and stopped sending letters to him. Heinrich is frustrated, he is depressed and eventually he is only able to give up that everyone starts to forget about him. One morning, Heinrich received an honorary invitation to come to see the 15-year-old Dalai Lama. In his discussion with Heinrich, the Dalai Lama recounted that he loved watching TV, and wanted to know the things that were happening out there that meant outside of his own world. He asked Heinrich to develop a TV house, that allowed residents to watch together. Heinrich agreed to the Dalai Lama's request. In addition, the Dalai Lama asked Heinrich to teach him many things such as how to drive a car, introduce world maps until they became very familiar. When China wants to make Tibet a part of Bhutan of his territory began to spread, apparently true. China, then led by communist Mao Zedong, wanted to take Tibet. Then there was the war between China and Tibet that killed many people. Heinrich began to think of how to save the Dalai Lama, after the betrayal of the people in his own Tibetan city who handed over Tibet to China. However, the Tibetan people still refused to live under communist Chinese rule. Heinrich then asked the Dalai Lama to go on the run, the Dalai Lama refused by explaining he was the leader for the entire Tibetan people, and he needed to be there for his people when his country was in turmoil. He assured Heinrich that there was no need to worry about himself, his task of helping himself was done. The Dalai Lama suggested that Heinrich return to Austria to see his son. Tibet then politically entered the territory of communist China, as the world knows it today. Heinrich then apologized to the Dalai Lama and the entire population of Tibet. A few months later he arrived in Austria, and found his wife Ingrid who had married his best friend, Horst. He just wants to meet Rolf, his son who at first refuses to be met. Finally Heinrich went into Rolf's room, and opened the gift he had brought from Tibet. The gift was the one he received from his friend the Dalai Lama. The gift is a toy box that if opened will play sounds. Heinrich came out and peered through the crack in the door and saw Rolf enjoying a present from him. Eventually they were able to accept each other and Heinrich took Rolf up the mountain as that had been his favorite since time immemorial. Heinrich's friend, Peter Aufschneider died on October 12, 1973 in Innsbruck, Austria. Heinrich died on January 7, 2006 in Friesake, 
Austria at the age of 93. Heinrich's story in Tibet was adapted into film form in 1997 entitled, Seven Years in Tibet. Although the film was released in 1997, it still ranks among the top films in the world by featuring Brad Pitt as the main character.